The Watcher in the Woods is a Disney film from 1980. This is directed by John Hoff and Vincent McCavity, and it's written by Brian Clemens, Harry Spaulding, and Rosemary Ann Sissons, based on the novel by Florence Engel Randall. I haven't read the novel. I don't know how it compares. If you have any thoughts on that, please feel free to share. This stars Bette Davis as Mrs. Illwood. We also have Cal Richards as Ellie and Lynn Holly Johnson as Jan. And Ellie and Jan are two girls who move with their parents to this... Uh, home in England and while they're there they meet Mrs Aylwood whose daughter Karen disappeared many many years ago and it seems like Karen hasn't quite left and there is a, a strong supernatural element here and I don't want to say too much more than that because I don't want to give it away because I do recommend it but that being said I didn't love it. I feel like it's definitely kind of entry level supernatural horror thriller and it is rated pg according to imdb so if you're new to that genre and you want something that's maybe not that intense there are a couple of jump scares a couple not too many but i feel like if you're not sure about whether that's for you this might be a good entry level there because it is suspenseful but it's not the most terrifying or nail biting or Anything like that, but as I said, there are a couple of, of jump scares every now and then, and it is generally well written. It's certainly unpredictable. I didn't work out what happened uh, until we get more information, so I think that that works quite well. And the characters are, are really likeable as well, but as I said, I didn't necessarily love it because for me, as somebody who watches a lot of thrillers, a lot of horrors, I have a lot of tolerance for this kind of thing. So for me, it was very tame. A well-crafted narrative, but maybe the, not the most compelling to watch because I felt like it was a little slow. It is only about an hour and 20 minutes, so it doesn't take too long to get anywhere. But at the same time, I feel like it's not the most gripping. There were times when I was thinking, can something dark happen soon? Because it was getting a little slow, not the most dramatic, not the most intense. But as I said, if you're new to that kind of genre or that kind of film, then as an entry level, it's it's pretty good. I would say it feels a little dated. Even for the 80s, for 1980, it does feel just ever so slightly dated. That might not necessarily be a bad thing, depending on what kind of film you're looking for. But when I saw the date of this, I was expecting something a, a little bit more... Well, flashy, I guess, is the word that I want to use there. If I'd had to guess when this was released, if I didn't know the date, I would have said early 70s. So for me, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. It's not as suspenseful as a lot of other films. But as I said, it is well written. The narrative flows well enough. It is a little slow here and there. But in general, it constantly moves forward. And we have some really likable characters. And I did want to know what happened to Karen. What I will say is that when we find out what happened, it's not the direction I personally would have wanted it to go. But I think that is definitely just personal preference rather than anything that's wrong with the narrative. So some selling points, definitely. Some really good performances. And if it sounds like it would appeal to you, then I recommend it. I doubt I'd ever watch it again. I didn't like it enough to want to go and read the novel. But watching it once, I didn't mind. And I'm happy enough to recommend it.